uh, let's turn some of this on. I spill my drink. Oh, uh, that should be good. Uh, all right. Today we start a new game. <laughs> we play Deus Ex. Uh, I think we're gonna do some training. I might do training just to learn the controls real quick. We'll see. Let me ping. Uh, let me ping Discord first. All right, let's uh, let's do training and learn this game. I think I have all my settings correct. Yeah, mouse feels good. All uh, uh game looks good. A little dark, but I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. Ah. Horse. Oh, let me bring my house plant with me. <laughs> I just carry this thing the whole way through. You don't mind? The key on the desk opens encryption-based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use okay. the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I gotta get used to this control scheme. equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add F1. and remove <laughs> items from the tool belt. <laughs> oh Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Alright, well, this is the inventory screen. Jesus. I weren't kidding, this game's uh, got a lot going on here. Holy shit. Okay. So F2 just skips right to this menu. Got it. Okay. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Probar knife? We gotta take the knife. I'm assuming you can't break the metal crate. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Lockpicking? Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage a door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lockpicks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to. Your find mouth isn't moving. I want to come in. Let me in. Uh, controls seem pretty straightforward. FPS feels fine. Old game running the code well. To the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. You activate the keypad with the right mouse button, just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. Okay. Straight up. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tools resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. 
At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. Uh huh. Multi-tool. Multi-tool is not a tool at all. It's the usual sense of the word. Disposable electronic device that utilizes electromagnetic resonance detection and frequency modulation to dynamically alter the flow. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so this is just our hacking tool. It cannot be used for computer information extraction. There's any number of ways to open a door, including using explosives or finding a security computer. So, hack the keypad. Wow. Oh, I pressed escape. What happened? Oh, <laughs> oh, buddy. That was a lag spike and a half. Holy shit. Old game jankiness. No problem. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Nice. Uh -huh. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. Received nano. So anytime we see nano, that means key ring, right? Uh, hold on, I gotta open the door. <laughs> Good work. I'll get someone down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. Move on to the next area. Your mouth isn't moving. You can bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. Oh good, F is just F just works as a flashlight. Got it. Dark rooms, oh no. Wow, check out that those lighting physics. Holy shit. That's uh that's some that's some jank. Uh let's see. Anything? Bueller. Did I just walk forward? You're not a mech, but you're enough of a machine to need repair buffs now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy getting to the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. So, BE is my energy? Repair block can restore up to 75 points of bioelectric energy every 60 seconds. Seems like a lot. Congratulations, you completed phase one. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like the one you can see up in the corner. In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. Yeah, I bet they do. Uh, let's see. Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, use these stairs to begin again. I feel like it's a little dark. I don't know if it's just a uh, gamma or if this is how the game's supposed to look. I think this is the, how the game's supposed to look. It's hard to tell. Days X is the best X. <laughs> Well, we'll see. First time playing it, so... You need to go through the door up ahead, but it's blocked. Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick wow. up the crate, walk up to it so that it highlights. <laughs> oh, the right mouse Man, I really... This really is one of those older games, huh? What was the last time I uh, had to pick up stuff to build a puzzle? I don't, I don't remember the last time I had to do this in a game. I remember uh, I remember when Half-Life did shit like this, and uh, people thought it was like this groundbreaking thing. They're like, whoa, physics puzzles. You drop a box, and you make the thing go up. <laughs> and that blew everyone's mind. 
And now this and now I'm doing it again. There's nothing I'm missing, right? This isn't just training shit. Yeah, we can just go forward. Now go up the ladder at the other end of the room. By default, you look up and use the arrow keys to climb. Okay. Nothing unique or exciting here. We get some complaints about this swimming obstacle because the water's contaminated. I might have to the up the brightness the just a little bit. Up in my office. Not pretty. Uh, or they forget see. that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember just that the brightness. hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once, and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the pool to climb out. Oh, it's not even... I don't even see it changing. Hmm. Well, we'll try upping it a little bit. Doesn't look like it's uh, changing too much. We get some complaints about the swimming obstacle because the water is contaminated. They forget to grab their hazmat suit. They forget they have to put on suit by pressing, selecting and pressing left mouse button. Hazmat's disposable. Hazmat. Are healing. So the other yeah, bots, the energy, equipment. this one's healing. That's right. Got it. No cheating. Yeah, yeah. Take your equipment. All right. I'm good. I'm good. We're learning. Welcome to the combat training area. I am Gunther Herman, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. Oh boy. This is a pretty extensive training. Your first thing. exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Ooh. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Again. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Man, this is, uh, this is some pretty basic stuff. You think people had trouble? Like, you think people couldn't figure out how to shoot a gun in a game at this point? Oh, uh, check out that recoil. Good. If you hold your controls weren't standardized back then, that makes sense. I mean, I, I could wide, tell the controls weren't standardized when it told me to so use the F key to open my inventory. Moving, <laughs> your accuracy will become. Also, opening my inventory target, has like a slight lag time. delay to it. It, it doesn't, you know what's weird is that it, it doesn't lag. Like, it'll lag only the first time I open it in a level. After that, it seems fine. It's pretty funny though. <laughs> F1 for inventory. I, I don't think I've used F keys uh, in a game since Diablo. Uh, did he tell me to do anything special? Good work. Now proceed to the next area. Hell yeah, dog. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thank you, Pike Gun. Thanks Let's for go. cooperation, Agent. Your aim improves as your range. bars get closer to here, the center. You will oh. learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. I have stepped up. <laughs> the targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket. Left key to bracket? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dog. No way. Oh, oops. Oh. Now I know how to drop a gun. I was like, oh, I'll just I'll scope in. Whatever. I'm like, maybe middle mouse button is like a scope in shortcut. Left bracket? Jesus. All right, hold on. <laughs> we can rebind that one. My God. Oh, we can't rebind it. Oh, God. What? <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was getting scared. All right. Uh, let's see. 
I would like zoom in to be very much not left bracket. Where is it? Toggle scope. Gee. Is there any reason not to put it on like a... Hmm. I don't know. I, th I think... I don't want to overwrite the right click, do I? Because right click is use object. Will I use right click? Uh... Yeah, I will. Fuck. Alright. Maybe I switch some controls around. Yeah, I feel like I should use object to E. Yeah. I feel like E would be feel more natural. Alright. Let's uh let's do that. Use object in world. Oh, but there's leaning? What? Oh, oh, I can't use E. Oh, I didn't know this was a leaning game. Oh shit. Damn. Am I really going to give up leaning? Maybe I don't do that then. I didn't realize we were doing that. <laughs> the recoil is uh, special. Raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Master level? Oh my god. Alright, so get my weapon skill up, I see. see. Higher skills give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. And in your Take equipment. That's right. No cheating. This is the demolitions training area. Medical bot. Oh boy, we're gonna blow ourselves up, aren't we? Mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamp placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Okay. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamp. Lamps placed on the walls are proximity triggered. Press the first button next to the window. This button? Oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> there this time go. you will place your own lamp. Good. Take a lamp Green from flashing. The cool, cool. To the red and black wall below. I have a lamb. Get as close to the wall as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamb will fall to the ground and detonate. Uh huh. Oh, so that's the arming time. Oh. Oh, it's the second switch. Blow them up. Well, we have traps at least. That's cool. Very good, Agent Tenton. You may proceed to the next area for more demolitions training. All right, all right. Controls feel fine, getting used to it. Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. <laughs> the robot's called Throw $12 a lamp million. Down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. What do you mean, throw a lamb? What? Out of explosives? Here's some more. Hell, I don't care. I'm not paying for them. Yeah, well, why didn't you tell me to take more of these? All right. <laughs> I don't remember what he said. Hold on. I have to open the menu that takes five seconds to load. Uh, conversations. Throw a lamp to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Oh, so I have to just throw it? Ah. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the 
metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamp. Try that now. <laughs> I love staring at screen flashes. Yes. That the wall is open. <laughs> Flash my whole screen white. Blind me. Oh yes, I love being blinded. Other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. Yeah, we're good. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove Oh, this can't go poorly. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. Why is this a... Uh, why does the menu... Why does the inventory take a second to load? At oh, each of the corners weird. of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You right will need to it. move up to the lamp quickly second right -click will and defuse it by right-clicking. A second right, right just double right click remove the lamp from the wall. You get a lot of time, huh? A word of warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Transcended fault, Real maybe. Lamps maybe. Will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next. It area. might be. I wonder if uh, there's a setting. I think transcendent options just, uh, yeah, I don't know any of those. None of that makes sense to me. Uh, let's see. Render 3D is good for fast machines, followed by snapshot, and then back. Determines what is displayed under menus and 2D screens. Uh, maybe that's what it is? We could try- we could try changing it. Snapshot. Oh. What the hell? Oh, I see the- I see what that option is now. Oh god. <laughs> ah. It's coming together. That's what we- I- for some reason that's setting, a. Uh, that's an interesting setting. I know my computer's too slow to uh, handle such high... Uh, I don't know. Alright, there you go. Yeah, just all black. Yeah, that works. Alright, whenever we open the inventory, we're blind. Uh, let's go to the next area. We're getting through the training. What up, G? Gotta Medical boss. Without arms or tools, rules are rules. Did that actually fix it? Uh, yeah. It feels like it did. Yeah, no. I it hasn't lagged since I've done that. Yeah, no, that was the whatever the 3D render option was doing. Now was weird. you will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself. So that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. Health gaming? That is truly bizarre. Well, it could also be because I'm stream. So OBS, uh, OBS couldn't game cap, couldn't game capture it. I had to window capture, so that might be causing issues. There's no way to tell, honestly. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Uh huh. Heck, goggles. Ooh, all right. Stealth is a vital component. Stealth missions result in the lowest possible ratio of agent civilian cas casualties. Let's see. With binoculars, agent can survey opponent's disposition in terms of the best way to evade or eliminate defenses. Rifle or crossbow equipped with a scope and silencing modifications can be used to interdict targets from a considerable distance. Okay. Stealth tet reset. Uh, 
Oh, I don't get another set of goggles, I see. I'm on the floor. I can start crab walking. Remember, don't let the guards see you. Use the crates for cover and crouch when you move. See nothing. Somebody's there. A guy in civvies. <laughs> you blew it. The alarm just closed the north door. Return to the control room to the south and press the button in the overlook window to restart the test. Damn, I'm bad. Well, at least we know roughly how the uh, stealth this is time, working. Don't let the guards see you. Stay crouched. Stay behind the crates and stay behind the guards. Okay, come on out. Oh, they hear it? Interesting. Alarm sounding. Okay, come on out. Always remember the four basic tactics to avoid detection. No, running, running gets their attention. Uh, Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making noise. And no, it feels like moving fast has benefits. Yourself. Yo, what a flow for turn, what's that? Possibility. Very good. I hope you remember this lesson, Agent. Sure. They have assigned us to be partners, and I will not stop to hold your hand and repeat myself when we are facing a real enemy. Now for the last test. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Hmm. Oh, I don't have a tool. Do these boxes float? Can I just do this? And I stand on the float. Oh god. <laughs> I hate you! Hmm. I have a distinct feeling my crowbar is not working. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, why can't I walk? Oh, he he shot my legs out. <laughs> I can't move. Yo, what up, Vlad? What's happening? They used real bullets! This isn't a training- this isn't training! This is murder! Where's the medical bot? I can't move! Careful around this TNT. You can pick up the boxes and move them around. Crouch to set them down. I don't want to have to reattach your arms. Okay, it's just TNT. God. I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm not gonna die. Do I just try to swim across with broken legs? <laughs> Alright, I'm going for it. And I just... It's not anything special, right? Yeah, no. There, there was nothing special about this. I thought the water was poisonous or something. I thought, I thought it would be like, oh, you cross and it kills you, so you have to find, like, some special way to get across. But no, you just go across. There's nothing special, there's nothing crazy. But look, now I'm super stealthy. Oh god. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh! Please, god! I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, 
please. <laughs> I was kidding. You can't see me. Look, it's okay. We just have to. We just have to not go. Okay, that AI is uh, doing a really good job killing. Me. <laughs> yeah, I'm an agent. I'm a professional. <laughs> you lament my gaming prowess. Thanks. Glad I have a. Uh, glad I have the support. You know, it's always good to see some. Uh, it's always good to be cheered on by my peers, people, fellow gamers. Oh, thank God. I'm alive! Wow, this medical bot's really good! Who needs- who needs to pay a doctor when we've got these things? Look at this reflection. Wow, you're right! It does have reflections! What? <laughs> what was the last time we've seen one-to-one -one reflections in a game? We don't see- we don't see full- we don't see reflective surfaces in any 3D Step game these days. Not this info. kind of reflective, through, at least. Go out the opposite door. Uh, what do you say? The NSF, the biggest terrorist threat in the U.S. This oh, oh, oh I see. Thinks it is fighting the second American revolution. Mm hmm. What about this guy? A deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. You bought FTL to play that big mo big mod? Yeah, that mod looked cool. That that mod has a lot of content in it. <laughs> This page industry's walking turret, marketed to governments worldwide, is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against the bot, you should use an EMP grenade. Ah, are you saying I should not be using a crowbar kind of against these? That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing I shouldn't crowbar these. An inexpensive security bot, a favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. Alright, I see, I see. This is the old augmentation technology. Hopefully about to be phased out. Notice old. the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics. A maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they've made me file in my office in the med lab... Uh-huh. Coalition's new nano augmented agents are nearly nano augmentation population, except what? that you and your brother don't know how to smile even for a picture. Don't know how to smile? <laughs> is that is that a meta joke on on our three D models not knowing how to smile? <laughs> Sufficiently impressive and early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. I'm yes. ready. Yes, you <laughs> are. Hell yeah, dog. Glad you agree. I know I'm ready. Wow, we're back to the menu. <laughs> we did it. We beat training. Are you guys ready? Alright, new game. What difficulty should we play on? Oh man. It's gotta be at least hard, right? It's gotta be at least hard. Cause I beat a I played a I, I could play it on at least hard. How how hard do you think realistic is? Can I spice up the difficulty later on? I'm not sure. Real autistic. Thank you. <laughs> Realistic is rough. Well, do we want it rough? Do we do we like our gameplay rough? Do we want rough gameplay? Difficulty cannot be changed. Yes. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, aren't I? I mean, look, we're gonna play. I'm gonna be playing this game once probably we could go all in and be a gamer bullets are close to one shots well so i played a i played that other deus Ex you know it's funny it's weird that i played the 
what was it? I think it was Human Revolution. I played Deus Ex Human Revolution on max difficulty, and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too... It actually wasn't as bad as it seemed. But I, I relied a lot on stealth on higher difficulty. This is a 90s game. Yeah, that's true. It, that's true. This is an older game. Hard, hard difficulty on an older game is a lot different. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. We'll, we'll get our asses handed to us. It's basically just a damage multiplier. Uh, let's play hard, then. We'll stick with hard. That way we can still gunsling a bit, but we want we feel a little lethal. JC Denton, we're not going to change that. Uh, so I can choose a bunch of points, huh? I can't reset skills, invest wisely. Ooh. Untrained and um, agent can't can use melee weapon. Trains accuracy damage increase slightly. An agent can render most opponents unconscious or dead with a single blow. You don't remember the UI being the, this unreadable? I think it's just the blue that's a little weird. You think there's a UI skin setting? Uh, hold on, let's see if we can find that. UI skin... I don't see anything. Display! It might just be a transcendent thing. Gore level normal? You want higher gore? Can we go higher? No, there's no higher gore level. <laughs> I was thinking that too, I'm like, oh yeah, let's go all the way. There's only, it only goes lower. Colors? Uh, it might be colors. Oh, wow, look at all these. What should we play on? That's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things. Toilet green. HUD transparency off. Order transparency on. Look at all the... <laughs> Come on, let's go to... What is the... Uh, default? Oh my god. Uh, try that. I kind of like Amber, actually. Purple is pretty cancer. <laughs> I don't know, I think Amber, Amber, Amber's kind of growing on me. You like Assassin Shade? Where, where's a Shade Shadow? Oh, are you talking about Ninja? <laughs> Look, it's important. This is going to be what it looks like for the rest of the time. I, I think Amber's a good look, actually. You think Menu Color Scheme? Oh, I see what you're seeing. Oh, oh. Blue and gold. That's a lot of colors. One of the mods changed it to cops. Yeah, it did. I like how I can't right-click this menu, but I can right-click the other one. <laughs> Alright, we'll put it on default. You think default is ugly? Uh... Since I'm playing on charred, why not choose... Toilet. Uh, we can try blue and gold. Cool green. I like uh, I like the cops actually. It's not that bad. Dusk is okay too.
Ion Storm actually works pretty well, too. And it's green, which is my favorite color. Yeah, dog. <laughs> green it is. Hell yeah. Change the HUD, too? I like the amber HUD, though, I think. Yeah, we'll just keep this uh, crazy-ass color. Uh, new game. Hard. Well, uh, now we have to actually choose our skills. Uh, what are we gonna do? Can we downgrade our pistol training? We can! <laughs> Hell yeah! Fuck pistols! The music keeps playing and it keeps distracting me. What is environmental training? Hazmat suits, ballistic armor, thermo-optic camo, and rebreathers. So that's all the temporary stuff. The master, an agent wears suits and armor like a second skin. Let's, uh, you know what, let's, uh, try, let's, I, I want the color scheme back. I can't help it, I can't help it, I'm sorry. I want to go back to cops. I actually li ended up liking cops a lot. Blue is a good color. Multiplayer? Yeah, I think that's, uh, I don't know what that is. I think that's just part of the, uh, mod stuff. Not mod, but, like, part of the community patch thing I'm using. Cops. Yeah, let's let's keep it on cops. I like cops actually. All right. Uh, ignore all these all this blue text. Well, pistol includes. Wait, wait. Weapon pistol training includes the mini crossbow. It includes the stealth variant pistol. Hmm. Ignore the important stuff. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Swimming? The agent moves like a dolphin underwater. I, I feel like swimming is not the thing I want to put my skills into. It's hard to read the blue on silver. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think this blue text is going to be around. I think this is just on this screen, probably. It sucks that it it's blue. Uh, let's see. You get so medicine makes med kits better. It's only on this screen. Okay, good. Uh, we probably would take. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that. Uh, I don't even know what kind of playthrough I want. Are we just gonna be like guns and balls out crazy? I kind of want to do a uh, stealthy pistols, maybe, or we can go melee. Throwing knives, knives, swords, pepper guns. No, let's go pistol. I want to be a. Uh, But man, that's a lot of skill points to go up higher. An agent achieves a moderate increase in detection and cooldowns and moderate decrease in lockout times. Uh, okay, we'll do one computer and then maybe electronics? We have basic electronics training, got it. Lock picking then?
I can save my skill points and start the game without using them until I figure out what I want to play as. I guess I could. I feel like lockpicking is really useful. Like, all of this computer lockpicking, all those skills. Uh, I guess I could save the rest. I don't know. Can I just train them whenever I want? All right, we'll just start. Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed them. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost... Why is the tech so small? <laughs> this play, the writing is... That's small even for me. ...we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. Why the end, contain they'll it? They'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. <laughs> but the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terror strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. <laughs> the augmentation project? Among other things, but oh, I must guy. admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Uh huh. Not better than kings. Gods. Uh huh. <laughs> Gods? Kings? Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do we start with? We start with a pistol. A charger prod. Let's get. Can I investigate the trash can? What is my mission? Oh, the menu. The menu takes a second to load. Still, that's unfortunate. Wow, that takes a long time to load. You guys see. You guys see this, right? It's it's not moving because I pressed the menu button. I actually can't move right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for the menu to come up. Hello? Menu? <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, we're good. <laughs> you know, I I installed these community patches to make the game work better and uh, so far it's been a it's been a rough ride. Awkward moment when I have a shitty PC? Yeah, you're right. Can't run a 20-year-old game. <laughs> I wonder what's causing that weird-ass menu loading lag, huh? That was happening in training, too. Uh, we have no notes. We have nothing special. Rent a server to play the game? Yeah, right. Wish that would solve all of our problems. My Yo, what up? To stay here. Heads up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. <laughs> Wait, I can join? monitor your situation from HQ. Uh, hell yeah. Sorry, I'm getting drunk on the job. Kenties causes the delay? Well, I cannot play without Kenties, let me tell you. There's oh, no way I, I can play without it. Because the Welcome game without the Kenties game. has this disgusting well mouse settings. <laughs> It is awful. It has like this weird Didn't mouse acceleration, and it's just on? fucking terrible. The NSF, they hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. 
Send me in alone. Wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Uh, give me the crossbow. The crossbow. Sometimes you've got to make a silent takedown. Good thinking. With these tranquilizer darts, you'll have another non-lethal way to take down an enemy in addition to the prod. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map oh, of the Denton. island. If you can get JC to the North Dock, a Unatco informant will give you a they key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Iron Your primary copper. objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Herman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Okay. Wow, we just got a... That was a lot of information. <laughs> that, that was a pretty big information dump. Hold on. I'm opening a menu. Give me a second. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see... Uh, I just need to see if there's a quick save button. Quick save. Quick save. Quick save. Here we go. Numpad plus. Cloud slash. Uh, does it make new saves or does it use the same auto saves? Auto save slot. Come on, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we get three quick slave slot. Uh, Quick save, not quick slave, quick save slots. Uh, and then we can do manual saves as well. F5 is universal. Uh, F5 is not the quick save uh, slot. Let the bots do the fighting if I were it's alright. The, 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 current, the current hockey isn't too bad. Uh, alright, let's review our objectives. The NSF, the NSF seems to be directing the attack from the statue. Get inside and locate the threat. Meet the informant at the North Docks. He has a key to the statue doors. One of the top agents is being held inside statue. Break him out and he'll back you up against the NSF. Okay. So we have to go to the North Docks first, probably. Uh, how do I know if I'm at the North Docks? Uh, do I have a compass? <laughs> I do. North. Okay, so this way. Yeah, I'm just doing my part to help help everyone out. Cross crowbar. How much loot can I find in a level? Oh, there's binoculars here. And a lockpick. Oh, I gotta break all of these. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. Gunter, you idiot. <laughs> you dumbass. Getting yourself killed. Welcome aboard, Agent. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. I'm looking for loot, okay. It's a friendly butt. It's green crosshair is friendly, red is bad. Swim down there? I don't have. I'm not. Why? I don't want to get wet. I'm an agent. <laughs> That's below me. Touching water is far below my stature. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bomb. Identify yourself with the phrase iron and copper. Alright, alright, alright. Iron and copper. Yep. Ammo. I love I love all this free stuff we're getting. I just get to break shit. Uh maybe I shouldn't be here. How do I get to the north dock without getting in I don't wanna I don't wanna get blasted. Maybe I should save. Hold on, we're gonna do some saving. <laughs> 
take a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Wow, they really killed them, huh? Well, we gotta get to the North Docks first, right? Is there a way to get to the North Docks without going through that whole area? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we have to go through. Okie dokie. <laughs> Metal crate. Are these birds going to give me away? These birds are going to give me away, aren't they? These fuckers. Listen, guys, chill. Everybody chill. I wonder if, uh, I, I don't even know if I can hit with the crossbow from this range. I don't know, how lucky are we feeling? Did he see me? No! What? The crossbow wasn't silent at all! Press quick load. Yes. Wow, that takes a second to load, huh? Alright, so why why didn't this work? Why didn't this trank dart work? Was I was I using the right dart? Ammo loaded tranquilizer darts. How long do they take to work? Did I not hit him? He felt the dart piercing his skin. I mean, it seems like uh, it seems like the dart didn't work at all. It takes a few seconds for them to fall. Oh, well, maybe I should just shoot them all then. That guy looks friendly. Hey, what up? Freight base is under lockdown till the danger's gone, Agent Denton. Right. How you guys holding up? You met go command made us pull back. I guess for Gunther's sake. What's the deal? We're ready to yeah, go in. Yeah, let's go in. We're taking a minimum for... I'm gonna clean the place out. I can't out. speak for command, but I'm gonna clean the place out. I hear you. Natalie's right. You nanoogs are born and bred killers. I do my best. Better load up. There are some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. But Thanks. why? I won't let you down. <laughs> why is my there ammo stashed back no there? cover like this is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also what? picked up some 10 million. You're making me pay money? I'm on your side! Say 200 for one and 60 for the other. What? Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have 700 for the scope. I don't have the 700 for the scope. If you're going to clean this place out, you're going to need hardware. Give it to me. Are you, you really going to charge me? Oh my god. <laughs> what is your problem? I can lean left and right. Yeah, I forgot about the leaning. I don't uh, I don't play many FPSs with leaning, so it's not something I uh, I'm used to doing. Why is he charging Welcome me? Welcome aboard, agent. Man, that guy's a, that guy's a loser. Where's my stuff? 
Multi tool? Uh, you only can carry one crowbar, okay. How do I get in here? Isn't this our own thing? It's locked. This is locked as well. I skip the dialogue with the key code? Hold on, I have to open the menu that takes 10 seconds to load. Tom Van Code, 0541. Everything was clear. 0451. Then, boom. Zero, four, five. I did it. Tranquilizer darts. What's in here? Med kit. Welcome to Unico. Username and password. Uh. Do I have a username and password? Username, JC Denton. Password. Hmm. What is my password? Hmm. Username with a space? You're right, it wouldn't have a space. JC Denton. When I, the menu thing annoys me enough to make me rage, he links something that might fix it. I have to change the setting in the launcher config window? Alright, let me look at this. Because it is it is annoying me a lot. And we're going to be opening that menu a lot. Ah, I just don't understand why these, uh, why these, again, <laughs> what, <laughs> for, a, for a community patch, why aren't all these settings, you know, default, that's all. Like, why aren't we using always using Kenties? Why aren't we always using this? Set FPS limit to zero, set your renderer to direct 3D 10, click OK, and launch the game. Oh, is that my alarm going off? Hold on. I'll be right back. I didn't even... Did you guys hear that in the background? <laughs> you guys didn't hear that? Make my own community patch? That's true. I won't do that, so I don't have a right to complain. You and Claudio Launch was regarded as better as Kenty's? Yeah, the problem with the... Whatever the default launcher includes is, uh... It fucks with the mouse really bad. Like, really bad. Uh, it makes your X... First off, the X and Y sensitivities have a different value. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, and then the other issue that came up was that, like, you can't, it has mouse acceleration no matter what you change the setting to. So you can't draw, like, like here, like, if I move my mouse like this, right? Uh, if I move my mouse in a circle like this, I can't do this on the other launcher. When I try to draw a circle on the other launcher, uh, my mouse will, like, fly out of control like that. It's like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's awful. That's all you need to know. It's truly terrible. Truly, truly terrible. It is. It was one of the worst things I've ever encountered. I'm hacking. You think I'll get in trouble for hacking <laughs> Unico? Wow. Uh, I can't see anything, as usual. Uh, let's see. Camera status on. Door access locked. Ah! What? What did I do? What? My orders are to hang back. What did I just do? What did I just do? On. <laughs> Reload. I hacked it and ran out of time. I didn't realize I was in trouble. I just realized, uh, I just realized the hacking thing didn't, uh... Oh, we're gonna redo this whole section. I just real. I, I don't know how hacking works, so we're gonna figure it out. I'm an incompetent? 
Please, uh. Freight base is under lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll take minimum take force. Losing process fails. Got you nano one. Yeah. I don't have 700. I'll check back with you okay. later. Okay. Oh, there is something under here. What is this? Attention night shift. The camera login. Oh. That come. Password Unico 01. God damn it. Of course the password's just lying under the table. I didn't think to crouch. I'm an idiot. Uh, what, was, what did it say? There was plenty of time to press two buttons. I just didn't know what I was supposed to do during the hack. That's all. Una T C O O O one. Uh O one. Let me in. Okay. What did I type wrong? Satcom. I'm an idiot. Satcom. <laughs> Shut up. I know, I know it's not perfect, alright. I forgot the password already. It's UNITCO. Okay, we're good. Score 01. Look, I'm a real user now. Uh, Alright. So what is this uh, kind of camera view to select that camera? Door is closed and locked. What if I did unlocked and open? Interior HQ. What is this showing me? I see something. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Oh, whoa, you can zoom in a lot. Jesus, these are nice cameras, huh? Uh, is there something we're supposed to see? This camera is insane? Yeah, it is! That's what I'm saying! Look at how much you can zoom in! Jesus! Is there something we're supposed to be able to see from here? Can I read this newspaper? No, the texture quality isn't high enough. <laughs> Whoa, I can zoom out a lot. Wait, why can I zoom out so much? This camera's really high up, huh? Crystal clear image even with 100% zoom? True. What do you guys think of this super dark camera? Can't see shit, Captain. Log out. I just gotta get out of this room before the noises drive me crazy. Sigs? Baton? Uh, alright. I don't know how much of this stuff we actually get to keep in between missions. Uh, medkit can go here, key ring over there. Multi tool, you get this spot. Are binoculars night vision? They're not, they're just binocs, sorry. I didn't look in the hatch I opened? I didn't? Oh! Oh! I'm an idiot. It opens that one. I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> it's hard for... Dude, I'm so scattered brain today. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gonna be like this, huh? Gummy? No. I didn't gummy. I wanted to play with the clear head. Uh, can I just break this? Killing? Cool. An EMP grenade? Jesus Christ, alright. 
Well, uh, if we have an EMP grenade, that implies there's probably robots. Hey, what does this do? I don't know what this button does. What did I just open? I don't know what I just opened. <laughs> Gummy me up then? Oh, that closes and opens the door, I see. Look, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, look, I haven't played, I haven't played a, a game with actual decision making in a long time, all right? It's a rat! Ooh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, I just want to talk. Can we talk? Dude, can I can I put a can I put a grenade on this? Yo, well this What? I didn't kill him! What? JC, you monster! I stepped over him! I didn't step on him! I can pick up the rat carcass? You think if I bring this dead rat to his Hey, do you want this rat? Welcome aboard, Agent. No. You don't want the rat? Alright. I can't put a grenade on the rat? Locked. Here, have a rat. I want that scope. There's nothing back here. Alright. Quick save. Let's not lose our progress. So as long as the crosshair is red, I'm a... Uh... in range? I don't think I'm in range. I know Red Eagle's hostile. I, I'm just not getting the aiming reticle for the uh, crossbow. Oh, there we go. Come on. He's not falling over. Three, four, five, six. Six seconds for him to fall over? <laughs> Jesus. That's, that's not an, a small amount of time. God, it takes forever to aim these. Crank dart three. I can just bonk his head on with a stick. I think I can just charge prod him. I still need to get to the north dogs. Yo, what up? Be careful. The NSF has set up patchwork security systems here. Okay. The NSF put a commercial grade security bot in this area. You can either avoid its patrol route or, if you're feeling lucky, try and take it out with the EMP grenades or explosives. I wouldn't recommend taking it on with small arms. I'm saving. He doesn't seem oh, I'm hit. I stunned him. Oh, hey, there's a robot. Are you gonna stop being stunned? Hello? How many times do you need to be stunned to go down? Bad. Fuck him up. Look, I'm not a murderer, okay? I have standards. Robots, that's the robot patrol path. He was pogging? Why? I, it took two stuns to stop him. Uh, 
Okay, I'm letting the tranquilizer do its work. Did he fall over? Look, we can use our EMP grenade. Damn, I'm good. Is it disabled forever? No idea. <laughs> you think I can pick up their bodies? Oh. Alright. Uh-huh. I hope it stays disabled. Can I hack it? No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I showed uh I showed Locatrin Gruggers. Alright, let's uh let's go explore around here. Bad guys? No bad guys. On you. That's, it. That's him. He's a cop. Okay, I thought that would work. Alright. I was trying to be non lethal. But he he decided to be rude. Come here. You need to hide your body. So wait, we only have a... Okay, I see. So the, the charge prod can be reloaded. Just creep behind him, beat him with my stick? The baton my inventory is also non-lethal, doesn't take ammo. Is it? Hold on, I have to open the menu. <laughs> I might I'm gonna have to change that menu thing soon. Uh alright, quick save. How close can you get to someone before they hear you walk in? You see nothing. You see nothing. I like the baton a lot. Big fan of baton. You've never seen anyone play this game and don't go stealth? See, this is fun stealth, though. This isn't like the bad stealth that we experienced in Outer Wilds or whatever that was before. Coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Assuming that there isn't someone to the left or right to screw me up. Mm, yes! Yes! Oh. Alright, screw the stun prod. <laughs> Is this grass or broken glass? Yeah, I don't know. Hold on, I'm opening the menu. Alright, uh, let's put baton in two. Why is it so dark? I want to play a daytime mission. Oh, there's a very bad robot. Okay. Oh, that's our robot. Wait, what? 
Don't we need to get to the north docks anyway? So just keep going north, I guess. What was that? I saw something. NSF terrorist. <laughs> docked and the NSF moved right on in. Shit. Offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. I don't know what his patrol pad does. Wow, that is a long lean. Holy shit. You can really lean around the corner. Smoke him? I'm gonna smoke this guy, that's for sure. Okay, I hear the footsteps of the guy on the left. Uh -huh. I got this one. This is what I signed on for. Okay. Baton does not work well if they see you. <laughs> How much progress did we lose? I forgot to save, didn't I? I did forget to save. Fuck. Alright, let's go fast. Let's see how fast we can go. You can walk pretty close to them without, uh... Is... Stop it. Bill. I'm gonna get fascist. You don't see me. You see me? He does see me. Bad. 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 All right, so uh, we know roughly that we can we can walk pretty close to an enemy now. We don't really we have to get used to that radius though. I'll accept that. I'm just gonna keep quick saving. I keep forgetting to not use the uh, auto save. Oh yeah, before we do that, let's fix our config, right? We should do that. Uh, all right. So save. Uh, uh, Alright, I'm gonna have to exit real quick. Or actually, I don't have to exit, I guess. I could just go to the launcher. Uh, launcher, launcher, where are you at? Oh! Deus Ex crashed! <laughs> it crashed! That's okay. That's what I get for clicking uh, to go to the thing real quick. Alright, give me one second here. Uh, let's see... Hold on, let me, uh, let me switch to this. <laughs> it's totally Factorio. Yes, yes, it's definitely Factorio. Ignore the Factorio. Uh, holding pattern. Give me a sec. I need to play some music for you guys. All right, you guys can, you guys can have fun. Give me one sec. <laughs> Play the Lisa song? Yeah, maybe. I have to uh, update these settings. Alright, let's take a look at this. So this Wikipedia entry that was linked to us, uh, we gotta go to FPS cap. ASX launcher and go to options under video options to FPS limit to zero. Alright. No FPS limit, even though uh, my better judgment would tell me otherwise. Set your renderer to Direct 3D 10. Click OK, launch the game. Wow, this is a... 
This is a lot more work than you'd expect. Okay. We're here. We're back. So we probably fixed it. Uh... We just have to do something in game real quick too. Load game. All right. At the bottom of the screen, press send message to all key. Uh, we have to go to preferences, right? Send message to all key. T? Uh. Space until only the console remains. Type in preferences. Ah, oh, you guys see this? You guys don't see this window, do you? Okay, yeah, this is a whole separate window that just popped up. Wow, I'm a hacker now. Hacker man's uh, advanced options, rendering, direct. Where is it? Rendering, direct 3D, 10 support. Set FPS limit field to 120. Isn't that gonna not work though? Because I only have a 60 hertz monitor. Well, I guess we'll find out. It's probably 60, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's try that. How's that look? Does that feel good? Oh, that does not feel good. <laughs> what is this? What is happening? Oh God. Oh Jesus. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's not do that. The brightness isn't awful anymore. That's true. Uh, what is it? Oh, I said say. Hold on. Ref preferences. Okay, I typed it wrong. The frames are terrible. References. Press enter. Boy, I can't wait to troubleshoot a 20 year old game. <laughs> That's what I like to do. Hell yeah, dog. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, uh, let's try the 120, see if that helps anything. No, the 120 definitely isn't. Okay, that's definitely not working. <laughs> Uh oh, Jesus. All right. Preferences. How about we do. You guys can't see this, but there's a whole menu that pops up and it, it lets me mess with stuff. Uh, let's turn the limiter to 58. Hmm. I set the directory ten and out of game. I followed it exactly. Display. Nineteen twenty detail high rendering device. No. Hmm. Maybe it's my OBS capture. Hold on, let me see if we can do a game capture now. You guys see it? Oh, I can do game capture. Maybe that helps. Well, game capture works now in OBS, but <laughs> I also have no frames now. Wow, what an improvement. Okay, so we can either have the laggy... We can either have laggy menus... Oh, the menu key doesn't even work right now. What? Menu? Hello? What's the what's the inventory key? There it is. So the inventory opens instantly now. But we have uh we have horrifying we have horrifying frame issues now. Nice. 
All right, I think we're going to go back to whatever my old settings were. <laughs> oh, boy, Might and Magic was a lot easier to set up than this. This is fucking awful. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Fix one problem, create two more. Is VSync on or off? I don't know. Where would that setting be? I don't see it here. Is it in the uh, fancy preferences? He works on the community mod, does he? Unfortunately, your community mod is not plug and play, which feels bad. You don't have any issues when you play? Yeah, it's probably a computer specific thing. Uh, let's see. VSync is on, which uh, should be fine. I see VSync is on, yeah. Try turning it off. You think it's a. You, do you really think it would allow VSync? Like, do you think it would let VSync affect the game while you set an FPS limit? That's such a weird combination. You would think it would automatically disable VSync if you set your own FPS limit. Alright, let's see what happens. Uh, nope. This feels awful. <laughs> let me see if there's other settings I can mess with. Uh, let's see. Rendering. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, we're going to go back to the old settings. <laughs> These settings don't work. <laughs> no thank you, sir. We tried. We tried. Uh, all right, launcher, configure. Uh, what were we on? We were on uh, Direct9 uh, 58. Borderless, and we're good. Other thing, we're trying the other launcher? No, because then we'll have the mouse problem. <laughs> I can do that through preferences? You think it was the FPS thing? You think I should try the other launcher? Ugh. Alright, well, uh... No, we ha we know what works. We'll just live with it. It feels bad, but I want to play the game right now. This is not a trouble. This is not for troubleshooting. Unfortunately, when we use this setup, though, I have to use window capture. I can't use game capture. There we go. People said FPS limit on Kenties what fixed their mouse issues in the past. Well, the the mouse issue was the raw input thing, not the mouse acceleration. But anyway, let's go back to smooth sailing. Look at how dark it is now, though. What is this? Is it? <laughs> Wait, what is the correct darkness and brightness now? What? What's the deal here? Maybe we uh, maybe we need to change something. Hold on, I'm opening preferences again. Let's go to a uh, direct nine rendering. Uh, hold on, I can't see this window. I'm trying to expand things. It's not it's not playing nice. Gamma correction. True? Basex sounds way cooler. <laughs> it does sound cooler, I agree. Yeah, none of these settings mean anything to me. I can't tell whether this is the correct brightness. It feels too dark though. All right, well, let's uh, let's jack up the brightness then. Even though I don't think it does anything, right? Troubleshooting stream. I Tro spill my drink. What? Oh, that was from the sound menu. Troubleshooting stream. <laughs> Troubleshooting stream. Yeah, hell yeah. I love it. Adjust brightness. I bet this doesn't do anything. It does nothing. Awesome. I love it. I love it. <laughs> ah, I knew that was coming. All right, let's go to the preference menu and see if we can figure something out there. Who knows what's true to form? That's true. That's true. Uh, I don't know. Try this. Did that change anything? No. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's keep messing with that. I guess. I just need to get. Everything, I need to brighten shit up.
it, it, it's not working. I don't think I need to reset to see those settings, do I? How I looked on the other configuration was accurate? Shit. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> we're, we're, how are we supposed to fix this? We have problems no matter what we try. Just turn up the brightness of your monitors. All right, here's what we're going to try. Hold on, hold on, hold on. New, new plan. Exit. Uh, configure. Let's go back to... What about 3DFX? Let's try... Let's go back to 10. Uh, let's see. Borderless full screen. Raw input. Because 10 is more accurate visually, right? It feels more accurate, at least. And the, the brightness setting actually works in this one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does the brightness setting work here? I don't understand. Try it without Kelsey's or whatever and mess up the testing setting with the preferences command. I could try that. Leave my brightness on default. Uh, I don't know what the default was. There's a reset button in the brightness menu. Yeah, let me just click through. There we go. Okay. Load. Oh, we're good. I think. How's it feel? Uh, I kind of feel those stutters. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Not looking so hot. Look at this light pole. Look how it teleports through my screen. You see those frame skips? Very little stutters. Yeah, but they're noticeable. You feel that? Jesus Christ, that's awful. <laughs> That's that's how it's rendering in real time, guys. That's actually how it looks. All right. Well, uh, we could try. Uh, what could it? What else can we try? I'm willing to take ideas because right now the game is uh pretty much unplayable. <laughs> it's playable with uh, it's playable, but it's uh it's killing me now. Oh God! I could try the other launcher. All right, we'll try that. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. I love it. Uh, all right. Where did we even install this? Games. Uh, ASX Game of the Year. Mods. Community updates. System. Dot uh, exe, please. You know, it's funny, I deleted the shortcut for the uh, the community update launcher because I was all excited. I was like, oh yeah, now I have a working thing, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, okay. Oh god, we're back to weird mouse settings. Okay, so... Let me show you. Is that capture? That captures, all right. So now we have weird, uh, we have the weird mouse settings right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this. <laughs> We're in a we're in the crazy mouse territory. Give me a second. Am I playing transcended? Yeah. I spill my drink. I have a I I installed because usually when I play an, a game this old, my experience in the past has been uh, that the game almost always requires like a little community patch or something because it's filled with bugs and shit. So I did the same thing for this game, and uh, it led me towards a 
mod, not mod I guess, but like uh, it led me towards like a community patch that uses Transcended and a bunch of other fixes. I honestly don't know. I was just looking for the one-click solution. I thought uh, I thought I found it, but maybe that's uh, wrong. Load game. Oh, where's my game saves? Sir? <laughs> uh, is it because I played a... Uh, uh oh. Sir. Let's go in training, see if it's broken. Alright. <laughs> Here's me trying to draw a circle. It probably puts the saves in, the in a different folder. Yeah, look at this. This is me drawing a circle. Alright, drawing it faster. Uh, it seems okay sometimes. I, I, I still feel the mouse back. acceleration. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Yeah, no. You don't have familiar with the community update? Just transcended standalone of release. Try the preferences limiter. Alright, let's try that. Preferences. Oh god, it minimized the whole game. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh... Rendering. I don't know what renderer it's using, though. Oh, okay. Cool. Give me one second. We're just spinning in place right now. I don't know what renderer I'm using right now. I can't tell. I'm assuming it's 3D9. Uh, frame li limit. Do that. Can I set mouse raw input, too? House raw input. God. <laughs> I just want to play the game. <laughs> Maybe it was a mistake to play Deus Ex. Maybe I just don't play this game. I don't know. I'm not feeling it anymore. I don't want to tech support. I don't know. If I play without the mouse issue... Uh, my quick menu fix? I don't know. Yeah, but the other game is wrong still. It's not just the menu that's wrong, it's the lighting that's wrong too. It's not right. Yeah, alright. It's too bad, but uh, I don't think uh, I don't think this game is a, a one-click install working kind of deal. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and say we're not playing Deus Ex anymore. <laughs> I want to play it, but I can't deal with this. I can't. I honestly can't. Every other old game I play just works when I install the community patch, and this one doesn't, so... That's that! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Another game into the trash can. Goodbye, Deus Ex. Maybe I should try in the future with Transcend Standalone? Maybe, but I don't want to spend the whole stream troubleshooting shit. It's kind of cringe. Ah... <sighs> I thought it was working, but it was a trick. Well, uh, I don't really have a... I didn't really have a backup game ready, because I thought Deus Ex would just work. So... what should I play? Do I even feel like playing games right now? No, I don't really feel like playing like games. <laughs> it's gonna be a shitty short stream. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have another game set up. Uh, I'm gonna play a new game tomorrow. I'm gonna play something modern, something that just works. I can't stand this right now, though. I'm not gonna tech support on stream for the next 20, 30 minutes. Um, but I'm not gonna stream Warcraft 3 because I don't feel like streaming it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I wish I wish this would have gone better, but honestly, if uh, if the community patches, whatever patch I installed is bad. Whatever I installed, it wasn't a one-click solution. It doesn't work perfectly. It does not work out of the box. It is either not tested or not compatible with my system. Whatever the issue is, it's not my problem anymore because we're not playing the game. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.